next character. Well, that's a good way to introduce Scott Shelby. Uh, Norman? No, 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 not Norman. Nomin. AKA. Because he has a boss in there. AKA Keanu Reeves, AKA who was the second guy. His pupils are so dilated. <laughs> what, was, what was the guy that Keanu Reeves played in that movie? John Monarch. Yeah, that's it. We're calling him that for now. I still going to call it Norman, but. Yeah, that's fine. Call him John Monarch. <laughs> Hey, look, he has a scar on his cheek. Why is yeah, we have Nomin. <laughs> Did you see that? Graphic pop-up! Yeah. There's a lot of it in this game. See, that's one thing I hate about... Uh, that's, that's a big one with it, with, with X-Men, Wolf, X-Men Origins Wolverine when you get 360 PS3. Lots of graphic pop-ups, and it's annoying every time you see it. <laughs> What's this? So why don't you give us a brief synopsis of what exactly Norman is? Well, Norman Jaden, he is an FBI agent. Again, and a drug addict just for say several Parkinson's disease, obviously. I cannot drink the power of age. Not yet. But he is an FBI, again, on the origami killer case. He's trying to find out who and who or what is the origami killer is. Is it even human? Does it have four legs? Does it have genitals? <laughs> Goddamn rain. Lost my grandparents in this rain. <laughs> those eyes. My grandfather's two eyes with those eyes. Seriously, like, get moving now as you're not thinking to yourself. Just to keep along with the pace. We know. It's so cool. <laughs> you're probably wondering why exactly you see that was handed Trump playing. We're actually going to be getting into that later on. Yeah, that's going to that's be a part of that. Uh, yeah. They just punch us <laughs> Yo, up here, my man. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Who the fuck is he? I think I just know what kind of guy I'm dealing with here. Thanks. <laughs> is there ever a role when Keanu Reeves smiles? Matrix? He smiles? Well, somewhat, I guess. Bill and Ted? Yeah, yeah Bill and Ted. It's a lot of that. It's a little bit weird. It's a star. Oh, we're in oh, black. But now we're getting into Norman's gimmick here. And thus, the giant mnemonic references. And Minority Report. Norman uses something called ARI. Or, is, or we guess Airy, I guess. Because he keeps on saying Airy comments. Well, I'm just going to call it ARI. Pretty much is the the most <laughs> technologically advanced piece of forensic equipment I've ever seen in my life. Look at that! It shows you everything! This is pretty much Batman's detective mode in Arkham Asylum. Yeah. And, and you know what? I think that's the best way to describe it. And if you've never played Arkham Asylum, it just say... You can find forensic evidence of just about everything, anything, anywhere, because of your information about it. And now the point of this is to, you know, find some evidence of any kind of tra tracks, tra you know, any kind of traits. I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in Batman. I'm Batman now. <laughs> it's only a bug to deal with it. What exactly are we looking for here again? Evidence. What kind of evidence? Um, anything that can deal with the killing that just happened. Well, we have footprints on the level four, and now we're getting someone's far into it. You know, every time someone talks like that, I just don't pay attention. I know, so since we're in the middle of a crime scene, actually, the white tent that we're seeing over there is where the body is. Yes. Of the, uh, recently killed child. We never actually do see the body, though. We kind of do. And it's not really a child, per se, in this one. What, what is it? It's a, it's a, um, oh, it is Harry! Yeah. Well, Harry sounds stupid. I'm just gonna call it Harry. Yeah. Just... Really? Harry? Yes. Interesting. Isn't it? Well, we've got a fuck ton of footprints all over the place, and actually, they don't really go anywhere until you go a little deeper. Uh, further down the train tracks, I think it was, actually, wasn't it? There's a dead cat. Yeah, the bad news? And, what you know, here he is. <laughs> dead cats are hilarious. Oh, oh, you got him in the jugular. 
You're a bad investigator. Well, damn my life. I ruined my nice shoes, my pants, and my coat is all wet. I bought this for $150. Oh, happy day. Only $150. That's pretty dirt cheap. I say so myself. Oh, yes, man. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have ADHD too. Here's more. Now we got some really bright footprints. The brights are important. It's a good chance that they're killed. Who's there? So now we have the object memorized. We can see more of the footprints. How many sperm trails are there? It's blood. I, 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 I know. This way with the body. He probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Thank you, boy, Wow, that guy. That's horrible. But now we can have to find this muddy hill. Well, this is going to be hard for me. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Love this. Oh, here we go with this again. This is the one you have to hold down? Yes. Yeah. I hate this. Why? Well, it gets annoying. It's just... <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wait. Yes, you can get in the hold down square in advance. Oh, she's taking so much out of me. <laughs> I'm shielding the reefs. Hill climb looks so epic. <laughs> Dragon! Oh, the bus. <laughs> More bright footprints. There's a good chance to have a kill. You said that already. Wow. You said the schedule was awesome. <laughs> a bus every 30 seconds. <laughs> Now that Norman has said that they think the scenario is seen, it pretty much means that we've scanned just about everything we could have yeah. in the crime scene, so now we can continue on. No, let him fall. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Want me to? Yeah, I don't care. Let's get the person up a bit. That's funny to me. <laughs> I don't think it makes a difference, doesn't it? No. It just harms your ego. Nope. I didn't even press the wrong buttons. Our FBI investigator, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Why'd I do that? I don't know. I'm taking these off. I don't know I need them. Look at that suit! Look now the area is only slightly less depressing. <laughs> Way too many people here. I think I see them. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Genius. Would it be so detailed? Stay. Yeah, leave. So, uh, you want to get a coffee? I'm not gay. Uh, I just wanted to get. I'm not gay. Yo, folks. No. I hate the controls because, like, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, what's about you? It's actually kind of like old fashioned Resident Evil syndrome. <laughs> there you go. See, yeah, he's like, you, you have to hold on down R2 in order to walk with the character, and then you influence his direction with what the analog stick, yes, which really should have been just been how do we control the character, you know, com completely use the analog stick. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, black card. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, 
take it without power rays. <laughs> no, his license plate. He's a new ball. <laughs> oh, that ball. Ball this, ball that, everywhere but ball. <laughs> I made the move for a perfect spark. 